Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see whole the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the get exam okay so if you want to see different of the my lectures different courses you can see on the unacademy take the subscription of the unacademy and if you want to see the free classes there are also several free classes every month i take several free classes you can watch these free classes without taking subscription so for this you will have to uncode my code my code is priyanka jain 10 by clicking on this code you will get the link for my classes. Thank you. Hi students. Welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the chemistry of P block elements. Okay. So in this lesson we will study about the oxides of halogens. Oxides of halogens means oxygen and halogen compounds. Okay. We can call them the oxides or we can call them the halides. Okay. When we are talking about the oxygen and fluorine compounds. Right then these are called fluorides. Why these are called fluorides? Because the electronegativity of fluorine is much more than the oxygen. Okay, Fluorine is more electronegative. So we will call them fluorides rather than oxides. But if we are talking about the oxygen and chlorine compounds or oxygen and bromine compounds, then these two compounds will be called as the oxides. Okay, Oxides of chlorine or oxides of bromine. Why? Because chlorine and bromine are less electronegative as compared to oxygen. So this thing should be clear first of all. Okay. Secondly, there is a less difference between the electronegativity of the two atoms. Okay. So these compounds are highly covalent. Okay. These are highly covalent except if you are talking about I2O4 or I4O9 these two compounds are actually ionic okay besides this all other compounds are covalent okay so first of all we will study about the of2 cl2o and br2o first of all see the oxygen difluoride oxygen difluoride means of2 okay we will not call it f2o why we are not calling it F2O? Because we know that fluorine is more electronegative. So these are called now the fluorides. So we will better call them as OF2. Okay. It is prepared. First of all, see its preparation. Okay. If you are seeing its preparation, then it is prepared by passing fluorine gas through the dilute NaOH. Okay. If you are taking dilute NaOH and passing the fluorine gas through it, then you are getting NaF plus H2O plus OF2. Okay, so in this way, oxygen difluoride is prepared. Next, it is highly stable. It is thermally stable. It is thermally stable at 25 degree centigrade. It means at room temperature, it is quite stable. And it slowly dissolves in water. If you are doing its hydrolysis, this is an important reaction. See this one. OF2 is when hydrolyzed. It is giving O2 plus 2HF. Okay. Now, if you are seeing its structure, it is actually a V-shaped molecule. OF2. See here. OF2. Oxygen is the central atom. Half. And how many valency electrons are on the oxygen? Six plus two monovalent atoms okay so eight divided by two it means four so here are four hybridized orbitals needed okay so the hybridization will be sp3 out of which two are the bonding pairs right and two will be the lone pair of electrons so now if you are making its structure the structure should be tetrahedral geometry okay tetrahedral geometry with oxygen at the center Two positions are occupied by the fluorine atoms and two positions are occupied by these lone pair of electrons. So how you see the molecule looks like? It is looking like V-shaped. Okay. So we can call this is V-shaped molecule or it is angular. Right. Now see the next compound that is chlorine monoxide. Chlorine monoxide means Cl2O. 
it is prepared by action of chlorine okay when the chlorine is action its action on the freshly prepared yellow mercuric oxide hgo it is called mercuric oxide okay freshly prepared so what we are getting hg cl2 plus cl2o okay it is an active oxidizing agent if you are looking at its properties it is an active oxidizing agent it dissolves in water and forms hypochlorous acid if you are dissolving cl2o in water then it is forming 2 sclo okay so the structure see its structure this is its preparation okay it is its preparation and this is its hydrolysis now see its structure same thing will happen here in the case of cl2o oxygen is the central atom okay and if you are counting its hybridization state then it is again sp3 hybridized four hybrid orbitals are needed so it is again sp3 hybridized so the geometry should be tetrahedral with oxygen at the center and two chlorine atoms occupying the two positions and two positions are occupied by the lone pair of electrons so this is angular or v shaped structure okay now one more thing very important thing one important thing is that we have asked about the comparison of bond angles of of2 cl2o and br2o okay we have to compare their bond angles so see here this is of2 okay here two lone pair of electrons are present okay and there will be the repulsion between these two lone pair of electrons we know that the repulsion between the lone pair lone pairs is very much higher so what will happen due to this repulsion this bond angle will decrease okay this bond angle will decrease and it remains of 103 degree all right now see in the case of cl2o in the case of cl2o and in the case of br2o when you are looking at these two molecules actually what happens these are of like size okay these chlorine atoms and these bromine atoms are of larger size okay so what will happen these are the lone pair of electrons so what will happen actually there will be the repulsion between them okay actually there is steric crowding this is called the steric crowding because these are of larger size and these requires space okay this will require the space to adjust so they will repel each other okay so they will take a large size large area so this bond angle will get increase okay so in these cases the bond angle is larger so in the case of of2 the bond angle is less but in the case of cl2o and br2 the bond angle is higher okay now see dioxygen difluoride o2 f2 okay this molecule is having the same structure as that of h2o2 this is the same structure like this oxygen oxygen and here fluorine and fluorine this type of structure is present here here this foo bond angle this angle is of 109 degree 5 minutes okay and here the oo bond length is distance this oo bond distance is shorter it is 1.22 angstrom as compared to that in the h2o2 okay so this bond is here somewhat shorter now see the next molecule that is chlorine dioxide clo2 okay clo2 is prepared by the reaction of sodium chloride sodium chloride means 2 naclo2 when it is treated with chlorine okay in the presence of air then what is happening we are getting 2 nacl plus 2 clo2 okay next reaction this is the preparation reaction next reaction it can also be prepared by reducing naclo3 it means sodium chlorate if we are reducing sodium chlorate in the presence of nacl hcl it means the chloride ions in the presence of chloride ions and in the presence of acidic medium then it is forming clo2 plus half cl2 plus h2o 
okay so this is its preparation reaction that is somewhat important now one thing more that you should understand that is the bond angle comparison one thing more is asked here that is bond angle between bond angle comparison between cl2o and clo2 we have to compare is the bond angles of cl2o and clo2 actually what happens the cl2o bond angle is lesser than the clo2 why this happens actually in the case of cl2o the repulsion between the lone pair lone pair is more than in the cl2 clo2 okay in this case in the cl2o this cl structure in this structure this is the structure of it and clo2 clo2 means cl and two oxygens are attached to it so this structure may be like this or there are three electrons present here okay and there is the resonance so this structure can also take this form there is the resonance okay so this is the structure of clo2 okay so in clo2 the bond length is shorter here the bond length is shorter due to resonance okay but the bond angle in the case of cl2o is lesser why due to the repulsion of lone pairs okay there are the lone pairs and due to the repulsion between these lone pairs this bond angle is shorter as compared to this okay all right now see some more structures like cl2o6 cl2o6 is a diamagnetic compound okay and it can have two types of structure there are two possible structures one is that like this okay and another structure may be like this two chlorines okay and in this way and here are the oxygen atoms all right now see the next compound that is cl2o7 cl2o7 one important thing you should remember is a anhydride okay this is the anhydride of perchloric acid several times such type of questions are asked in the question paper so you should know about this this is the anhydride of perchloric acid okay so in this structure actually two clo4 tetrahedrals are joined together by oxygen atom it means this is the oxygen atom okay and two chlorine tetrahedrals like this these are the two tetrahedrals okay in this manner so these two are joined together by this oxygen atom so this type of structure is of cl2o7 next structure is of i2o5 i2o5 is a solid with three dimensional network three dimensional structure it is having oxygen is present in the center of two iodines okay this is the central oxygen and four oxygens are coordinated like this so it is having a symmetrical structure here the io interaction is very higher okay so this is this intermolecular reaction between the molecules different molecules there is a intermolecular reaction between the iodine and oxygen of the two and three molecules so this is making a three dimensional structure okay so it is having three dimensional structure why due to this io io type of interaction okay this type of interaction is present in this molecule so this is all about the oxides of the halogens meets you in the next video with some more topics okay bye bye thank you